Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about the Denomi JW8100 accessory storage compartment. Here's the accessory storage. This accessory storage has two compartments. One will hold all the accessories and this compartment here holds this extra spool pin that comes with the machine. The spool pin goes into this top notch and then once it falls into the groove and you know that it's secured in place, just press it down and it will lock into place. Let's try this again. We're just gonna lock it into place. As you can see, it is secured in place and it will not come out. Um, that's pretty cool, right? I do have one suggestion. This is just something I do. You guys do not have to do this. It's just to save some space in the accessory storage compartment. And this two area is where I put my two small spool caps, which will then be held in place with the large spool pin that we assembled earlier. Now just remember that you insert through the top, not the bottom. The top is much larger and the bottom is where it locks the spool pin into place, keeping the accessories from falling out. And that's all for the spool pin compartment. Now let's move on to the accessories compartment. Just remember there is no right or wrong way to put the accessories in this compartment. Now that we have less accessories to put in here, it will make sure that all of our items fit properly and not fall out as we're trying to clip it back onto the sewing machine when we're done with our accessories. Here it is, everything inside as it should fit in the accessory compartment. And then don't forget our spool pin compartment where our bobbins and spool caps are. All right, for the moment of truth, everything fits? Yes. This is your stitch guide. To store it, just fold it down. Um, for the pin cushion, you can leave it here or you can take it out and leave it over here. Honestly, you can leave the pin cushion anywhere. As for the power cord, if you're traveling, this is where I'd put it and then just cover it up with your hard case. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.